important is an actor's reel as a tool to help someone book work? Mm, your reel is huge and your reel should be quick. And a trend that I've noticed even over the five years that I've been here is shorter clips uh, and clips that are well labeled and not, not just one long reel, but short clips. Uh, Karen speaks French in blah, blah, blah. Um, Karen in rom-com, blah, blah, blah. You know, split those things up on YouTube. In addition to your physical reel, have lots of very short clips, a minute or less, that people can look at. Also have some longer scenes, but there's a, at least in my experience, there are a lot of people who don't want to sit through an entire scene. They don't want to take that journey with you because they're in the middle of their day. They just want to know what you look like on camera. So give them that opportunity in very short clips. And then of the sort of actor's tools, the reel, the resume, the IMDb page, the agent or the manager, if someone had to pick just one as the most crucial, which would it be? You can't pick just one. I mean, if, if it's your IMDb page, it has to be pimped out with your reel. Because you want your reel on your, any, any actor who does not have a demo reel uploaded to IMBD, it's a part of the package. If you don't have your demo reel right there, you're crazy. That's, so I would say if you can't do anything else, have an IMBD page and a demo reel. But you know, that's not even, that's not even a false answer. Everything you've mentioned is going to be needed eventually. But if you have to have something to start with, get the IMBD page up, get the pictures up, and get your reel up.